Patients who recovered from dengue are more likely to face long-term health complications like heart conditions compared to those who recovered from COVID-19. Now that is according to a new Nanyang Technological University study. Researchers hope it will offer insights for post-acute management of patients and healthcare planning. The nationwide study included more than 11,000 residents who had dengue and over a million people who contracted COVID-19 between 2021 and 2022. It found dengue patients had a 55% higher risk of heart complications. These include irregular heartbeats, heart disease and blood clots. There was also a 213% higher risk for former dengue patients when it came to cognition and memory disorders. The study also found a 198% higher risk of movement disorders for these dengue patients. One infectious diseases expert CNA spoke to says these complications are often the result of pre-existing conditions. Because these are a majority, most of the time is because they already have an underlying problem that then they got dengue that then worsened the problem, right? Uh, so if they do, then it's, it's worth, uh, you know, be, being um, uh, more followed up more closely. Increased risk for similar health complications were found in COVID patients, leading the researchers to draw comparisons with dengue for this study. The research is also the first to contrast post-recovery risks of dengue and COVID-19 patients. The research team was also looking for new health problems related to the heart, nervous and immune systems that could appear up to nearly one year post-infection. Dr Oi says while there is no known treatment for these complications, vaccination is one potential solution to reduce such risks. We will at some point need to have a dengue vaccine right, to at least protect the population from these kind of consequences, especially those who are more vulnerable to diseases like heart problems and, and, and neuropsychiatric problems. He says efforts to keep transmission rates low in the community can only go so far. He adds that a two-pronged approach is needed, and that's keeping mosquito populations low coupled with vaccinations.